Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we have a brand new, in the box, number 205 Orange Paisley, Marlboro exclusive, full size Zippo windproof lighter. I have also seen this described as a bandana pattern, which would fit, I believe. Kind of looks to me like maybe a tapestry hanging on the wall or something like that. It's a really cool textured design. Not as thick and pillowy, but still it kind of reminds me of that applique process that you have seen on women's sweatshirts and things like that. You can see that texture, especially on that bar along this right edge here. This lighter is marked K of 21, which if my math is correct, that would be November. Bradford, PA, which there was a discussion on the Zippo Addicts Facebook group, I believe it was the other day, about how there is now a comma between Bradford and PA, which would be the correct postal way of doing that. But apparently it used to be a period. You can see the weld marks, the indentions, which were fairly round. The warning sticker, which reads, Keep away from children. This lighter is not child resistant. Ignite lighter away from face. Read instructions before using. And I don't know that that necessarily needs to be explained, but... I guess it doesn't hurt anything. And then it is also printed below that in Spanish. This is the satin chrome finish. I should have stated that in the opening. This is not necessarily my favorite finish, but my reasoning was a lighter that I had several months ago that needed to be cleaned up. And I ended up using some polish to get some really nasty green corrosion uh, out of or off the surface of the back of it. I didn't realize how thin that satin finish was and I polished through it on a couple of the corners really easily where I didn't have any problem in the areas where I was actually trying to kind of polish and scrub out the um, like I said, it was some green corrosion, the best I remember it. Anyway, you can see this five barrel hinge. The second and fourth barrel being wider than the first, third, and fifth. Really, with the satin finish, gives it a shadowy kind of contrast to the brightness of the orange, which is not my favorite color. As an Oklahoma Sooner fan, our two biggest rivals, the Texas Longhorns and the Oklahoma State Cowboys, both have orange as their main color. But we do have the Oklahoma City Thunder here, and I am a Thunder fan. And I do drive an orange Jeep, <laughs> so I have been given a hard time in the past by some of my fellow OU fans but I don't dislike orange quite as much as I used to. Here's the normal message from Zippo telling you what a great product you have just acquired and how you can learn more about the patents and other legal information about that product box is nice and snug. It arrived in just a bubble mailer, but doesn't seem too much off for the ride that it took. The guarantee paper reads 
Any Zippo pocket lighter when returned to our factory will be put in first class mechanical condition free of charge for we have yet to charge a cent for the repair of a Zippo pocket lighter regardless of age or condition the finish however is not guaranteed. The back then talks about the timeless design unmistakable click 80 years getting closer uh, this year's 90 isn't it so it says over 80 so that was definitely over 80 years it also has detailed instructions on how to fill the lighter by pulling up the felt pad it says not to oversaturate it which they can tell me that but it doesn't mean I'm not gonna do it there are diagrams sort of a four dummies version then on the right side of the pamphlet there is also information down here at the bottom of the left hand side about how to trim and manicure and manage the wick it says you should only be able to trim it two to three times. Seems to me like you ought to be able to get a little bit more than that. I've had a discussion with Migorang in the comments and I plan to get back to him. I'm sorry, sir, that I have not. Um, it seems like you were asking if I would send you the wicks that I pull out of the old Zippos and I would be glad to do that. I just need to know exactly which ones you want and how to exactly where to mail them to, what kind of condition of wicks you want. So there's the guarantee paper for this brand new satin chrome number 205 orange paisley Marlboro exclusive rewards full size Zippo. It is a very nice design. I really like it. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with it, whether to sell it. That's why the sticker is still on it. I thought I would look up the prices on eBay and make that decision real easy, but after looking at what they've been selling for, it made that decision a little bit harder, so I still haven't decided. You may see this over there in my collection or you may see it up on the store later tonight. <laughs> I really have no idea at this point. But either way it's a really nice design, really nice lighter that while I like the satin chrome I would be interested to see this same design on a high polish lighter. I think it might help the orange and the detail of the paisley stand out but any way around it I'm happy to own it maybe shortly happy to sell it but certainly happy to show it to you until next time